Okay guys, in this tutorial we will learn about how to draw an impulse function within the MATLAB. You can also call the impulse function as an impulse signal. And for what it is used, actually if there, is, if there are two systems that are very similar to each other and we cannot differentiate them. So what we will do, we will apply an impulse. So impulse is actually what? Impulse is a maximum change within the minimum time. The maximum change in magnitude in the minimum possible time. So when the signal strike are feeded into the two systems that are very similar to each other, they will exhibit slightly different response from each other. And that is in and this is called as the impulse response of the uh, each system and usually with this technique we will differentiate the two systems so uh, what actually so but what what is an impulse you can say that it is any signal any signal in a very less strip of time like a paint of time you can say that or in a very less time and which is usually approximately equal to zero, not perfectly zero, but approximately equal to zero on time axis. So for it, we need to draw time is equal to like zero uh, colon, or you can say that minus 10 colon one colon 10. It is actually what time? It is actually time. You can write any variable instead of time and all this will be feeded feed it to the this time variable minus 10 to 10 minus 10 to 10 and then then impulse what actually we have to do then we have to declare a variable that is the that is named as impulse and you can write any other word instead of impulse like imp LSE or just IMP, it's, a, it's your own choice. So here we will write zeros. Why we are going to write zeros? Because, because uh, except on on a single point, uh, the rest of the signal is zero. But on on mid mid of the time band, you can say that its magnitude rises and falls within no time. So you can write like. Uh, 1 comma 10 so here just write comma write ones and this is the actually middle point and here we are supposed to write 1 1 comma 10 is actually position on the on you can say that uh, the uh, bar that is minus 10 to 10 so it is the actually what it is actually the uh, what you can say values from 1 comma 10 these are all uh, first it, it, it these are all actually what these are all zeros then then for a single value 1 comma 1 it is plus 1 or ones and then again zeros 1 comma 10 zeros 1 comma 10 then we are supposed to write plot comma impulse why it is so because we are going to plot impulse now you can see that uh, on all the time axis which is actually from 0 to 25 it is uh, or 0 to 20 not 25 from 0 to 20 within like you can say that it is because you can see that it is a like an analog signal which arises which which whose rises rising edge is actually taking some time and whose falling edge is also taking some time so here um, it, it 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 is like impulse but uh, you can say that if we use stem command like a stem stem of impulse stem of impulse then it will be more clear for us now you can see that on single point it is rising and falling 
like rising and falling both the edges are just like uh, they occurs at the uh, zero within zero uh, time or within zero seconds so it is our uh, simple possible definition of impulse and when it is feeded into the it is feeded into the any uh, system the system will respond to such a change obviously there must be a response to such a change and we can say that we got the impulse response of the system so hopefully uh, you got the concept thanks for watching